Yo, 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 this is Mr. O, and today we're going to learn about circumcenter, incenter, together with Pythagorean theorem. Let's go ahead now. Circumcenter, perpendicular bisector sectors of the sides of the triangle intersect at a point called circumcenter. Meaning to say, guys, if we have a triangle, let's draw a triangle here, and we draw the perpendicular bisector. What's perpendicular bisector again? It's where the midpoint, and let's say this is the perpendicular bisector that makes 90 degree angle, and this one here is something like that. Let's make 90 degree angle. These are congruent. These two here are congruent. And let's say that, <clears throat> these <clears throat> sides are congruent, then those orange, red, brown, perpendicular bisector meet at a certain point, and that is your circum center. okay? That's why you have to be able to know how to find and define what is perpendicular bisector. And where those three meet, that's called the circum center. And what does it do? Okay, what does it do? Let's go over back here again. The circumcenter is always equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So meaning, if this is my circumcenter, if you connect that that uh, red uh, black dot or the circumcenter to your vertices, they're all going to be equal. So if this is twenty, that's going to be twenty. That's going to be twenty. Okay. Least the perpendicular bisector. So the perpendicular bisector on this illustration is segment DP, segment PE, and segment PF. So that's going to be PD, um, PE, and PF. Okay, those are the perpendicular bisector of this triangle. Now name the circumcenter where the the three of them meet is at point P. Capital P, okay? Now, list all the congruent segment. Let's go first with what we know. Again, this perpendicular bisector cross your midpoint. So, these two here are congruent, these are congruent, and these two here are congruent. So I can list down first the uh, side. So AD is congruent to BD. Uh, BE is congruent to C and CF is congruent to AF, okay? Now, we know that based on the definition of circumcenter, the circumcenter is equidistant to the vertices. So we know that PA is congruent to PC is congruent to PB. They're all equal there, right? Let's go ahead now. And But before we apply the, the circumcenter, let me give you a review of about Pythagorean theorem. In the right triangle, you have one with a measure 90 degree angle, and the side opposite that one is called your hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle, and it's also opposite to 90 degree angle. While the two other leg, uh, other sides are called the legs, okay? And the Pythagorean theorem is, is used to find a missing side length on a right triangle, okay? The formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or the sum of the square of the two legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Let's apply it here. So in this case here, this is the 90 degree angle, so this is my hypotenuse, and that's unknown, that's my C. And this is my A, and this may my B. You can swap the A and the B, it doesn't matter, okay? So we can say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That gives us eight squared plus seven squared is equal to C squared. Eight squared is 64, seven squared is 49, um, we're going to use our calculator here because, uh, so where's the calculator? 64 plus 49 is 113. 
C squared. Take the square root of that, take the square root of that one, take the square root of 113. Will be C is equal to 10.63. And that's the answer. Let's do it one more time, okay? So again, this is, um, let's do number four here, okay? So your number four, this is my 90 degree angle. That is my uh, hypotenuse. So that's my C. This could be the A, this could be the B, okay? You can swap the A and the B again. We're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem because it's a right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And the value of A here is 25 squared. The value of B here is B squared and C squared is 30 squared. And then we have to move the 25 squared to the other side by subtracting. So therefore B squared is equal to 30 squared minus 25 squared. Again, you cannot subtract 30 and 25 yet. But you have to simplify it. What's 30 squared? That would be, I guess it's 900. Yes, it's 900. And 25 is 625, I believe. Uh, let's do it. 25 squared is 625. Get the difference. Um, that will give us 275. And remember, there are B squared. You have to take the square of that, take the square of that one. So the answer of 275, 275 square root is approximately 16.58, okay? Or is, let's make it around your stance, 16.6, .6, okay? And that's your value of your B, okay? All right, let's go now to uh, the circumcenter. Z is the circumcenter of the triangle TUV. Find the measure you give with the given information here. So again, this is a circumcenter. So I know that this, this, that are all congruent because they're connecting from circumcenter to the vertex. And we know that this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. <clears throat> and I can see that this is 34 here. So we know this is 17, that's 17. If that's 19, this has to be 19 also. Uh, if this is 21, so this has to be 21, that has to be 21 also, right? So how do you find TU? TU is the entire thing here, which is to be 38, because 19 plus 19 is 38. Uh, VY, VY, VY is just 17 because it's half of 34. Because remember, this is the bisector, it's a meet, it passed through the midpoint. UZ, since this is 21, that's 21, this is 21 there, so we know that this is equal to 21. WV, WV is right here. Okay, now it's a problem, okay? Let's focus on this brown triangle. On this brown triangle here, let me write it here. This is the W, that's the V. We know this is 90, this is 15. That's 21. And seeing this figure, I know it's a right triangle because this is the 90 degree angle. And 21 is your hypotenuse and this one of the leg and we can say that's A. So therefore, we can say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared is 15 squared plus B squared is unknown. C squared is 21 squared. Using our um, calculator, what's 15 squared? 15 times 15 is 225. And 21 squared will be 441. Subtract them. 441 minus 225 will give us 216. And take the square of that one. Therefore, the value of B here will be Square root of that is 14.7. So therefore, WY is 14.7. What about TV? Where's TV? TV. So if this is 14.7, that's 14.7. We just double that one. 14.7 times 2 is 29. Point four. Kaboom. Next. One more of this. Uh, H is the circumcenter. So H is the circumcenter. So if this is 13 here, we know that this is 13. That's 13 there. 
we know that this seven here, EC seven, so EB is also seven. This is 24, so that's 12, and that's 12 because they're half, okay? Um, so let's try to answer some of this. GD is 12, BC is 14, EH is going to be unknown. Oh, no, no, yeah, it's unknown right now. So we can focus on this red triangle here. Remember, this measures 90, 90, 90, because they're all perpendicular by sector. So I can write here something like this. This is the 7, the 30 is right here, and I need to find EV, or EH, I mean EH. So we know that 13 is my hypotenuse, so therefore it will be 7 squared plus B squared is equal to 13 squared. This will be 49 plus B squared is equal to 169. So B squared is equal to, uh, I think that's 120, right? 169 minus 49 is 120. Then we're going to take the square root of 120. Square root of 120 is 10.95 or 10. Point approximately 11. We'll take that 11 there, okay? So if this is 11 here, uh, EH is going to be 11. How much is FD? FD is right here. So let's look at the blue triangle here again. So I have something like this. This is 90. That's 13. And this is 3. Um, we're going to find this side here. So again, we have a hypotenuse of 13 and the leg of 3. So 3 squared plus B squared equals 13 squared. We know this will be 9. B squared equals 169. So B squared is equal to 160. So again, we're going to take the square root of 160. 160 square root is 2.6. Uh, I mean, 12.6, I mean, approximately. So therefore, FD is 12.6. And C, D is the entire thing. So this is 12.6 times 2 is 25.2. Okay, there you go. And let's move on now to in center. The angle by sectors of the angles of a triangle or the angle by sector should be angle by sector, the angle by sector of the angles of a triangle intersect at a point called in center. So a while ago was circumcenter, this one is called in center. The in center is always equidistance from the sides, from the side of the triangle. So it means say if this main center here, so this, Brown one are by angle by sector. Angle by sector are the uh, segment or ray line that cuts the angle into two equal parts. And they all meet at a certain point, and that point P there is called the in center. And then the distance of point P to the side perpendicular to it are all congruent are all equidistant, okay? So this, the angle by sector. The angle by sector here are uh, segment BP, segment uh, AP, and segment CP. Name the in-center. The in-center is just a point P. List all congruent segment. The congruent segments here, okay, are this, this, that, okay? They do not have to be, uh, they do not have to be um, the, what do you call this, the, the segment DP does not have to cross the midpoint. So you do not know if they're equal here. But the congruent segment here will be only DP is congruent to uh, EP is congruent to uh, FP. Okay, there you go. All right, let's work on this problem here. So P is in center of triangle JKL. JKL, so if this is 13 here, is 8, okay? I see the 8 there. So we know that the purple one is 8. This is also 8. That's also 8. They're all equal to 8. Good? And we know that this is a right triangle. 
So we can say that our triangle could be like this is 8. This is the 13. That's 90. We're going to use again, use Pythagorean theorem. This is my hypotenuse. So 8 is my leg. A squared plus B squared is equal to 13 squared. This would be 64 plus B squared equals 169. And then I will subtract 169 by 64. That would give me 105. So B squared is equal to 105. Take the square of that. Take the square of that one. That gives us B equals 10.2. So this section here is equal to 10 point, no, no, no. This ML is 10.2. <clears throat> All right, uh, I see that this is 17 here. So I'm gonna find this. So my triangle would be something like eight, 17 here. And I need to find the hypotenuse this time, okay? So I'm gonna use uh, 8 squared plus 17 squared equals C squared. We don't know the hypotenuse. We know that 8 squared is 64. 7 squared, I think, is 249. Uh, 289, I think, 289. Yep, 289. 64 plus that is going to be 353. Take the square, take the square. The square root of 353 is 18.8. .8. So this is 18.8 .8 here. That's 18.8 .8 there, okay? So let's answer the problem now. NP, where's NP? NP is 8 because they're all equidistant. Uh, if this is 17 here, this has to be also 17. If this is 10.2, this has to be 10.2. It has to be 17, so NK has to be 17 also. PK is 18.8, .8 and LO, where's LO? LO is 10.2, okay? And there you have it. And that's how you apply circumcenter and in-center of a triangle using Pythagorean theorem. And as always, kaboom.